the peace of the Lord be with you. O God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Hail, Queen of the heavens, hail, Mistress of earth. Hail, Virgin, most pure of immaculate birth. Clear star of the morning in beauty enshrined. O Lady, make speed to the help of mankind. Thee God in the depth of eternity chose, and formed thee all fair as his glorious spouse, and called thee his own words true mother to be, by whom he created the earth, sky, and sea. Hail mother most pure, hail virgin renowned, hail queen with the stars as a diadem crowned. Above all the angels in glory untold, set next to the king in a vesture of gold. These praises and prayers we lay at thy feet, O Virgin of virgins, O Mary most sweet. Be thou our true guide through this pilgrimage here, and stand by our side when our death draweth near. Psalm 112. A shoot shall spring from the stock of Jesse, a flower shall grow out from his roots. The Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. Praise, O servants of the Lord, Praise the name of the Lord. May the name of the Lord be blessed both now and forever. From the rising of the sun to its setting, praised be the name of the Lord. High above all nations is the Lord, above the heavens his glory. Who is like the Lord our God, who has risen on high to his throne, yet stoops from the heights to look down, to look down upon heaven and earth. From the dust he lifts up the lowly, from his misery he raises the poor to set him in the company of princes, yes, with the princes of his people. To the childless wife he gives a home and gladdens her heart with children. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. A shoot shall spring from the stock of Jesse, a flower shall grow out from his roots, the Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. The Word of God, born of the Father before time began, humbled himself today for us and became man. Though he was in the form of God, Jesus did not count equality with God a thing to be grasped. He emptied himself, taking the form of a servant being born in the likeness of men. And being found in human form, he humbled himself, and became obedient unto death, even death on a cross. Therefore God has highly exalted him, and bestowed on him the name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Word of God, born of the Father before time began, humbled himself today for us and became man. A short reading from 1 John chapter 1, verses 1 and 2. Something which has existed since the beginning that we have heard and we have seen with our own eyes, that we have watched and touched with our hands. The Word, who is life, this is our subject, that life was made visible. We saw it and we are giving our testimony, telling you of the eternal life which was with the Father and has been made visible to us. A shoot has sprung from the stock of Jesse. A star has risen from Jacob. A shoot has sprung from the stock of Jesse. A star has risen from Jacob. The virgin has given birth to the Savior. A shoot has sprung from the stock of Jesse. A star has risen from Jacob. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. A shoot has sprung from the stock of Jesse. A star has risen from Jacob. The Holy Spirit will come upon you, Mary, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. He looks on his servant in her lowliness. 
Henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me. Holy is his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in his strength and scatters the proud heart. He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the Lord. He fills the starving with good things, sends the rich away empty. He protects Israel, his servant, remembering his mercy, the mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his sons forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Holy Spirit will come upon you, Mary, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Eternal Father, on this day through your angel, you made known our salvation to Mary. Full of confidence, we earnestly pray. Lord, fill us with your grace. You chose the Virgin Mary to be the mother of your son. Have mercy on all who wait for your redemption. Lord, fill us with your grace. Through your angel Gabriel, you brought a message of peace and joy to Mary. Give to the world the joy and peace of salvation. Lord, fill us with your grace. By the consent of your handmaid and the power of the Holy Spirit, your word came to dwell among us. Open our hearts to receive Christ as Mary the Virgin received him. Lord, fill us with your grace. You look with compassion on the lowly and fill the starving with good things. Encourage the downhearted. Help all those in need and comfort those near to death. Lord, fill us with your grace. To you, O God, nothing is impossible, and you alone do marvelous things. Save us, and on the last day along with all the faithful departed, bring us to your, yourself. Lord, fill us with your grace. Let us pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Shape us in the likeness of the divine nature of our Redeemer, whom we believe to be true God and true man, since it is your will, Lord God, that he, your word, should take to himself our human nature in the womb of the Blessed Virgin Mary, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and keep us from all evil and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.